The next investment that you should be looking into is a cash flow business. When most people think about starting a business, for some weird reason, they always think about starting a huge business, a trillion dollar business that will rival Amazon or Apple or SpaceX or whatever. I don't want to destroy anyone's ambitions and dreams, but that's not the business you want to start if you want to build a stable source of income, if you want to build a business that will turn into passive income. Neither you should think about internet businesses, because today when we talk about starting a business, everyone thinks about an online business, such as social media management agency or Amazon affiliates, dropshaking, whatever. These are all great businesses. I don't want to undermine the importance of these businesses. And these businesses could be making you a lot of money, like really a lot of money. But if you're building a business for the sake of having a passive income, then stop for a moment and think about more conservative businesses. Businesses that a thousand people before you or a million people before you have started successfully. Think of a coffee shop or a grocery store. Yes, these businesses are not like billion dollar businesses. They won't be making you a lot of money, but these are the businesses that a lot of people before you have started and made every single mistake along the way. So if you want to start a grocery store, for example, you literally have a step-by-step -step plan on how to do it. It also requires a lot of time and an investment in the beginning, but there is nothing astronomically difficult about it or opening a coffee shop. These are the businesses that could run behind you. Like for example, if you start a social media management agency and you want to turn it into a cash flow business that will put money into your pocket, it's extremely difficult because you have to hire a capable CEO that can manage it and grow it. Especially when it comes to online businesses, everything changes so fast that you cannot just rely on one business model. This is the market today, tomorrow it could literally change. So if you bring a capable person that will grow that business, why would he work for you when he can just open a social media agency for himself and grow it? I mean, there is no reason for him to work for you. Well, if you open a traditional business, such as a coffee shop, for example, it's way easier to hire somebody who can actually run it on behalf of you. Because what matters in that business is the capital to start with. A hundred years ago, people did their groceries. They went to coffee shops. 50 years ago, they did that. And they will continue doing that for at least next 5, 10 or 20 years. Whereas if we compare that to social media agency, for example, we have no idea how social media is going to look like in 5 years. So you continuously have to adjust your strategy in order to match the market and make money in that continuously changing industry. I'm not saying that it's an easy job to open a grocery store or a coffee shop, but because a million people have done it successfully before you, there is no reason why you wouldn't succeed. What's great about the traditional business is that, yes, you might not be making a lot of money like all of those internet businesses, but it's a stable source of cash flow. And if you're gonna take this path, go ahead as a silent partner in a business. Like, find somebody who wants to start such a business, find somebody who wants to open a coffee shop or a grocery store, and go ahead as 50-50 or 30 by 70 or something like that. The reason is quite simple, because doing that business takes a lot of time. Building that business is more than just spending your money there. And somebody has to run it, and you have to be confident that it's someone who is interested in growing that business and making sure that it's cash flow positive. And if you go in as a silent partner, you will be making a good return of your money without actually doing all of that hassle. Of course, your partner who is actively managing that business will make more money than you because he's running that business. He will be paid a fixed salary. But nonetheless, you will have all the free time you want in order to work on your projects, on your work, on your business, or something that you want to grow and develop. But finding somebody who wants to do that kind of a business is not an easy job. So if you don't have that option, the next best option is to open a franchise. The great things about the franchise is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to come out with anything new or revolutionary because the company will provide you with everything you need. The equipment, the people, the technology, whatever you need. All you have to do is that put the money up front and do some little work. And whatever challenges that you will come across in building that business, that franchise, that company has already went a thousand times. So they have a solution to every single problem that you will come across. Downside of opening a franchise, you might not be making a lot of money. You will not be making as much money because you will have to share a portion of your profits 
with the parent company. But the good news is that you will reduce your risk and you will have a stable cash flow business that will consistently put money in your pocket.